Abahlali Basim Jondolo, or the Movement of the Shack Dwellers' Women's League, recently held their electoral congress in Durban, South Africa. Formed in 2007, the ABM Women's League has managed to sustain a vibrant arm of the organization. We spoke to Abahlali Women's League chairperson, Kunjuzwa Nontebe, prior to the election to find out more. I also well am Tlanje. excited kakulu ngoba sikhumbula amani na asishemi from 1956 be Marshala e Elbrun Union e Pretoria. So sikhumbula lo makawe as getting us abahlali basemjondolo sikhumbula amaqhawe ethu unokuthula amabaso wabola ngesihluku siphinde sikhumbule uthula indlovu siphinde sikhumbule ngale ngcana ngoba le nzuzo yabolawa e Cato Crest 2013 so siyabakhumbula ngoba ngaba nasinabo emzabalazweni so lo lusuku lolu ukuthi lukhulu kakhulu ngoba sizimisele ukuthi nala bazongena bathathe la share khona ukuthi abantu besifazana silola malunga abantu besifazana ukuthi baphathe ngokulinga nayo bahlonishwe siphinde futhi silwane ukuthi i-economic abantu besifazana nabo bawazi ukuqhamula eh sifisa ukuthi jwa uzokhethwa namhlanje i-leadership ezo ezokhethwa sifisa ukuthi uqhubeke nokulwela abantu besifazana iqhubeke nokuseka umbutho iqhubeke nokuseka umbutho nensha yethu nanobe nendlela abantu besifazana aba abuzwa ngayo ababulawa ngayo baqhubeke babambane balwe nobubha obukhona e South Africa nokungasebenza abantu besifazana The day started with songs performed by the Abahlali Basim Jondolo choir This was followed by addresses from different members of the organization together with messages of solidarity from the Norwegian People's Aid, SWET, the Sex Workers Education and Advocacy Task Force, and Pan-Africanism Today. Following his address to the Congress, Abahlali Basim Jondolo president, Spuzi Kode, spoke to us about the significance of this year's elective Congress. Well, the elective Congress that the women have organized is a symbol of unity and solidarity, but it is a symbol of democracy within the organization. It shows the importance of a democratic process in Abatlali that needs to be encouraged, that needs to be protected. And we are happy that the Abatlali Women's League have actually complied with the requirement for any organi- organization to be seen to be a democratic organization. It has to have a moment of reflection and review of leadership. So this is what um, the elective Congress is all about. It is about renewing mandate from the people. Well, Abahlali Women's League is an important part of the movement, as you would understand that 60% of Abahlali membership is made out of women. It has become compelling and imperative for Abahlali to support, encourage, but also promote and empower the the women uh, within the organization. So it is important, therefore, that the role of uh, uh, of Women's League in Abahlali as a wing, it is actually to strengthen the movement. It is clear that an organization without a strong women's league is a doom, is, a, is likely to fall. So we are pleased as Abahlali that what made Abahlali to be strong and to be this sustainable, it's because of such wing. Without the strong women within the organization like Abahlali, we would not have a movement. So what has made Abahlali to be strong and to have been going through these long years of unbroken promises to its members is because of women within the organization. So we are happy that today the Women's League has shown the way that it is important that Abahlali exists with it playing a major role within the organization. With this year's Congress held on 9 August, the country's National Women's Day, where in 1956 over 20,000 women marched to the union buildings in Pretoria, South Africa, to demand an end to the apartheid-era pass laws, taking inspiration from the history of courageous women like Ruth First, Lillian Ngoy, Dorothy Nyembe, and others, Abahlali Basim Jondolo's Women's League Electoral Congress sought to elect leaders that can push forward the four pillars of the organization's Women Can Do It campaign. We spoke to ABM coordinator Zandile Nsibande to find out more. What we are doing is that we are pushing the campaign of women can do it. Uh, on this a woman can do it campaign, we have four pillars. Women in land, 
women in leadership, women in livelihoods, gender-based violence and femicide. And what we are doing uh, if we find that uh, someone is a victim of gender-based violence, uh, mostly uh, the abuse that is uh, like a normal in all over the world, it's physical abuse and sexual abuse. And those people who are victims of sexual abuse, we used to refer them to, to relevant departments like uh, Lifeline, we have Lifeline, we are giving um, free psychosocial support. They're also sending them to the, to, to the hospitals where we have a, 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 a place where the people can have access to the psychosocial support first. Then uh, after that, um, they will see the doctor after that, they, they will see the, the, the SAS, SASP where they are going to lay charges, but they need psychosocial support first. And the, this help we are giving to everyone. That's how you find out that even those who are not the members of Abashali, they see that the, Abashali is a home for everyone. And we say Abashali is the university. Abashal is a university because we are teaching women about their rights. So uh, as Abashal Women's League, we managed to organize uh, the Women's League because uh, what we are doing, we are, we are strictly have programs that are touching the people um, at the ground, like uh, the things that they can see, that they, uh, they, the, their troubles, like uh, each year there are challenges uh, called uh, uh, social ills like gender-based violence and femicide. As we know that um, that is a global cancer which the whole world is facing with a gender-based violence and femicide. We're also talking about women and land. Uh, women in South Africa are having a problem that they don't have access to land. When you're going to Amakosi and Izinduna, they will tell you that you must come with a man. We are also educating our uh, women to sustain themselves with uh, livelihoods. Uh, we are asking them to, to have a vegetable gardens so that they must sell to the public in order to be financially independent. Those present then went through a process of voter education before voting. Overall, the elective Congress was successful as the leadership's mandate from members was renewed. Following the announcement of those elected, comrades took an oath to continue the important work of the Women's League with commitment and dedication.